From giant squid that were rumored to attack ships to 50 foot long killer reptiles, our oceans have been filled with huge creatures that are as fascinating as they are terrifying. In this video, we are going to break down the seven largest sea creatures of all time, some of which people think could still be out there. First on the list is one of the weirdest creatures to ever live. And with my love of sharks, this is one that I wish I could see in person. But unfortunately, I'm about 250 million years too late. The Helicoprion was a bizarre prehistoric fish that lived during the Permian and Triassic periods and measured up to 25 feet in length, making it the smallest creature on our list. It's known for its distinctive tooth whorl, a spiral arrangement of teeth resembling a circular saw blade. So imagine a shark the size of Jaws coming at you with a circular saw attached to its jaw. This unique dental structure absolutely puzzled scientists for decades, with debates over its placement and function. Initially thought to be located at the front of the jaw, a later research suggested it was positioned inside the lower jaw, likely aiding in capturing and processing its prey. Helicoprion likely used its tooth whorl to capture and slice through soft-bodied prey in ancient marine environments. Despite its mysterious anatomy, Helicoprion has significantly contributed to our understanding of prehistoric marine ecosystems and the diversity of life during the Permian and Triassic periods. Next up, we have a true creature of nightmares. The colossal squid is the largest known invertebrate in the world, reaching lengths of up to 46 feet and weighing over a thousand pounds, making it the second largest creature on our list. They inhabit the deep waters of the Southern Ocean around Antarctica, at depths of up to around 6,600 feet. Colossal squid possess the largest eyes of any known animal, measuring up to 11 inches in diameter, which is larger than a basketball, aiding in detecting prey and potential predators in this dark, deep ocean environment. While death by a shark or some of these other crazy creatures would suck, death by colossal squid has to be the worst. They grab their prey with these massive rotating hooks on their huge tentacles and pull what they're eating into a giant bird-like beak. Hard pass on that for me, thank you very much. But these unique adaptations help them feed on fish, other squid, and deep sea fish like the Antarctic toothfish. Despite their immense sizes, they remain elusive and are rarely encountered by humans, with much of their behavior and biology still a mystery to science. Adapted to the extreme conditions of the Southern Ocean, they actually have antifreeze proteins in their blood to withstand the cold temperatures, which is absolutely insane. Colossal squid are preyed upon by deep sea predators such as sperm whales, sleeper sharks, possibly even orcas, basically anything that could fit a smaller or juvenile colossal squid into their mouth, because at the end of the day, they are still a squid, which is like the number one bait source for most things. Research expeditions have provided super valuable insight into their anatomy and ecology, where we know very, very little about them because their conservation status remains poorly understood, potentially facing threats from deep sea fishing activities, from trawling, uh, from climate change, and all kinds of other environmental factors. Next, we have the creature that struggled with misidentification throughout time, the plesiosaur. Plesiosaurus were marine reptiles that flourished during the Mesozoic era, spanning from about 200 to about 66 million years ago. These creatures ranged in size from small, six-foot-long species to gigantic forms like Elasmosaurus, which could reach lengths of over 50 feet, the third largest on the list. Plesiosaurus possessed long necks, barrel-shaped bodies, and four paddle-like limbs, allowing them to move through the water in search of prey. In fact, whenever my son asks me what my favorite dinosaur is, I always say the plesiosaur, and then get ripped to shreds by him for calling it a dinosaur and not a marine reptile, which is apparently, according to a four-year-old, a very important distinction. An interesting fact about the plesiosaur is that it often is associated with the legend of the Loch Ness Monster due to its physical similarities. Many reported sightings of the Loch Ness Monster describe a creature with a long neck protruding from the water, which bears a resemblance to the long neck profile of the plesiosaur, like specifically the Elasmosaurus. However, 
It's important to note that there are no scientific evidence supporting the existence of a creature like the Loch Ness Monster. So before you guys out there send me in a bunch of really bad photos of logs or seals in a lake, it's not the Loch Ness Monster, it's not a plesiosaur, it, it's, it's a log in a lake. So just remember that. Next we have that terrifying creature that we all recognize from the blockbuster movie Jurassic World. I'm talking about the scene with the massive sea creature that launches out of the water and eats the dangling great white shark as though it's a minnow. That's right, we have the Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was a massive marine reptile, again, not a dinosaur, don't, don't say that to a four-year-old, that lived during the late Cretaceous period approximately 60 to 70 million years ago and would reach lengths of up to around 60 feet, fourth on our list of the largest animals. They had a serpent-like body equipped with powerful jaws filled with rows of super sharp teeth that made them well adapted to marine life. Mosasaurus had limbs modified into paddle-like structures for efficient swimming and a tail fluke for propulsion, enabling it to dominate as an apex predator preying on a variety of marine creatures, more likely fish, turtles, anemones, less likely to be dangling great white sharks. With a global distribution spanning oceans and shallow seas worldwide, from present day North America, across Europe, Africa, basically everywhere, Mosasaurus has left a significant mark on paleontology, contributing to valuable insights into marine reptiles of the entire Mesozoic era. The first Mosasaurus fossils were discovered in the Netherlands in the late 18th century, contributing to its scientific understanding and even gave it its eventual naming of the Mosasaurus. Despite its extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period, likely due to environmental changes or competition with other predators, Mosasaurus continues to captivate popular imagination through its appearances in films like Jurassic World, in documentaries and other media, serving as a testament to the fascinating creatures that once roamed Earth's ancient oceans, none more terrifying than our next contender. Of course, we have one of the most iconic, scariest sea creatures of all time. There are movies made about them. Some people still argue that they're out there swimming around and there are satellite images and blah, blah. I'm incredibly skeptical. I don't believe it. But what am I talking about? The Megalodon. Megalodon, meaning big tooth, was one of the largest predators to ever roam the oceans. Living approximately 23 to about three and a half million years ago, during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. Fossil estimates suggest that it could reach lengths of up to 70 feet or more, making it larger than most modern day whales, which is insane when you consider that it's basically just a juiced up white shark. Possessing a powerful set of jaws filled with large serrated teeth, some measuring over seven inches in length, I actually got to dive for Megalodon fossils in Florida and have a couple right here that I found myself, this being one of my most prized possessions from one of my blackwater dives. Megalodon was the ultimate apex predator of its time, dominating ancient oceans and primarily preying on large marine mammals such as whales, dolphins, and seals. And the fossil evidence that we do have indicates its global distribution across various marine habitats, meaning it was in cold seas and warm climates, and you name it, basically just like a white shark today. But it did eventually go extinct around three and a half million years ago, with the exact cause still debated among scientists um, as to whether or not it was changing salinity, changing sea surface conditions, lack of prey, there's a whole lot of theories out there. Despite its extinction, Megalodon's immense size, fearsome reputation, and widespread fossil discoveries continue to captivate both scientists, I would argue even more so, the general public's imagination, inspiring countless books, terrible films like The Meg, and all kinds of really cool documentaries, and even a little dive trip for me to find those fossils. Next up, another marine reptile, the sixth largest creature on our list is the Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus were ancient marine reptiles that thrived during the Mesozoic era from about 250 to around 90 million years ago. It possessed a streamlined body resembling dolphins and ranged in sizes from basically dolphin size, uh, species of them that were dolphin size, to massive apex predators like Shinosaurus, which could exceed lengths of over 50 feet. 
Unlike most marine reptiles, Ichthyosaurus gave live birth to live young, a reproductive strategy known as viviparity, and were highly efficient predators preying on fish, squid, and all kinds of other marine organisms with their very sharp teeth and streamlined, fast-moving bodies. Fossil evidence indicates their global distribution inhabiting oceans and seas across all continents before their eventual extinction around 90 or so million years ago. Another one of these incredibly cool giant deep sea marine reptiles that I personally kind of wish were still around today because I'm such a reptile nut. But for now, at least I have my, my cool turtles. Next up, the largest living creature in history that still roams the planet today. While the last creature on our list doesn't have the scare factor the same way the other ones do, it happens to be the largest creature on the list by a long shot. And the fact that you can still go out there today and see the blue whale is an absolutely awesome feat, and we are so lucky to live in this time period. It's the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth, dwarfing even the largest dinosaurs. These magnificent marine mammals can reach lengths of up to 100 feet and weigh as much as 200 tons. And I'm gonna share with you guys here a video that I took just a few weeks ago where a massive blue whale came right under my feet as I was out fishing in the California Channel Islands. What's crazy is given the size of a blue whale, you would think like a T-Rex or some of these other marine reptiles, it would need to eat a ton of meat. But no, blue whales sustain themselves primarily on krill, which are tiny, almost microscopic shrimp-like crustaceans that hang out in clouds in the ocean. And blue whale will consume up to four tons of krill per day during feeding season. Despite their ridiculous size, blue whales have incredibly gentle disposition often engaging in slow, peaceful movements and producing hauntingly beautiful songs that can be heard over vast distances in the ocean. Today, the blue whale can be seen on whale watching tours off the coast of California, Massachusetts, Canada, places in Africa, and a handful of other locations around the world. And we're so lucky that we get to live in such an incredible time and place on this planet where we can go out there and see the largest known creature in history. And I'm lucky because they're right here in my backyard in Southern California. Anyway, that concludes the seven on our list of largest sea creatures ever. If you can think of any other large creatures that I should have added or want to see a part two to this video, add them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and be the first to catch more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and go find those big old sea creatures.